Welcome to a new video on my home automation and Node-RED series. I'm guessing there are quite a few people here who are after Node-RED and my, you know, my usual Node-RED videos. And I haven't posted anything about Node-RED for <clears throat> a couple of months now. And I think the last one I did was about the, the Becca thermostat when I turned it into a mode bus um, you know, enabled. And I, I, I've set this uh, flow up, well, part of this flow, I started using this Nest-like control. And my plan always was to enhance that flow, um, not just to create the communication between the back out therm uh, the physical thermostat and this uh, and this display unit, but also give it the usual functions where you can program the thermostats and you can set se uh, several modes. So I've been working on that, and it's still not complete. But I just wanted to give an update on well, hopefully what is uh, coming next, um, unless I start doing something else. And since we are talking about Node Red uh, in this video. I just wanted to give an update to all my Hungarian viewers. So we opened this um, uh, Facebook group for, well, Hungarian Node-RED. And uh, the guy asked there to make some videos about some, you know, Node-RED basics. I thought this is something that doesn't exist in Hungarian. It does exist in English probably better than what I could do. So I'm just not going to do it in English. But yeah, I have this other channel, which is all for all my Hungarian videos. Not that I have a lot, it's five. But um, yeah, if you're interested in that, then you can watch them as well. I'm going to leave a link in the video description. And I can quickly show you what I have done so far. And then maybe if you have some comments how you would use a thermostat, what are the different functions that you look for, you can just leave a comment down below. And I can you know, incorporate these into my design as well. Because uh, there happened to be a, a topic on the Node-RED forum, which was, uh, there was somebody who was asking about if um, somebody would like to do a thermostat design and I thought so I thought maybe I should get back to you know doing that and actually finish uh, what I have started so this whole thing started from from this nest like control which I liked uh, quite a lot so the reason it's appearing gray because actually my this backup thermostat is not connected at the moment so I'm not getting any data that's why it doesn't have any modes and at the moment all this is controlled by the external unit so here you can set the set temperature, you see the room temperature, you can, uh, you would be able to set the different modes. So this unit uh, supports heating, cooling and ventilation. And I was already considering some other modes uh, like the away mode, which is, I think it's available in the nest as well. And I was also thinking about the boost mode. Uh, so I just need to figure out what is the best way of using these two. And um, going back to the classic thermostat design or the pattern design, I choose a, um, an approach that I have seen in, in an Italian product. Uh, I don't know, maybe even ways back. I, I, I have no idea what the product was. But uh, the one thing I really liked about it is that in that thermostat, it was also like a th smart thermostat. So you can uh, design all these patterns on your phone. But like, you know, normally you, do, uh, you uh, design these patterns uh, for you know, what is your weekday pattern or the weekend pattern or, you know, pattern for each day, something like that. And the approach here was slightly different because what they say, what they did is that you design patterns and then you assign them to the days. So it would be easy to make some changes because you have, let's say you have a, fa a pattern which, you know, does full heating for the entire day. So basically from zero to, well, uh, from uh, 0 to 24 hours it's yeah let's say 25 degrees all the way through and uh, maybe you have a daytime uh, okay well that's the daytime low so it's basically 22 degrees but then maybe you have a, you want another pattern which like you know um, lower temperature in the uh, in throughout the night and then you have a uh, a boost in the morning and then again you have a boost in the afternoon so the idea is that you de this, def define these patterns and then later on you can assign them to different days, which I haven't done yet. Which I think it makes it quite easy to make some changes because uh, let's say if you have a national, like, like a bank ho holiday coming up on, on Friday, then instead of just you know changing your pattern for Friday, you just sweep, uh, switch it to a different pattern. And I think this is already working. So I, I tried to use the uh, the different controls which is available in the dashboard so I don't have a fancy user interface where you can you know click on this graph and then you know set your pattern but basically you you select your pattern you can add a new one you can delete it you can rename it and of course once you have that you can also 
create your different set points and then you can make some changes there so for example if you want um, you know maybe 26 degrees here and then you hit update you notice that the uh, the chart got updated so these points are getting stored in I don't even remember whether it's a file or a database but regardless and then uh, this is just a simple chart line chart and I'm you know drawing a well I'm generating all these points uh, based on the the points that I've set here and of course you can change the time and the date and if you create something and then you you move the time back then it knows that oh well it actually has to be here so it rearranges so it's, it's pretty smart it works quite nice uh, of course the user interface is a little bit iffy because um, well, I mean well using the standard controls this is the uh, that's that's the best that I could do patterns is not something that you would keep changing every day so even if it's a little bit more complicated to use I think it's still okay and and besides that I, I just want to add some functions on you know maybe changing the modes like you know this away could be something where um, I'm not sure maybe you know you hook it up with your Google Calendar and then you set some calendar entries when you are on away when you are on holiday so the the heating can automatically turn to like lower settings and the same could be on boost um, I mean I use this boost functionality in my parents where um, again let's say um, they usually keep the heating low but if you really want to uh, bump it up then instead of you know turning turning the thermostat on and then just remembering to turn it back off you can set a boost for like yeah, four hours so it it will keep the raise the temperature or raise the thermostat setting and then after four hours it automatically go back to the you know the normal setting but by the time by that time the, the house would heat it up so these are the different features that I have in mind and of course I want to do it so it doesn't necessarily rely on a physical thermostat so it can work on its own as a you know the control and then and then have an output where you can hook it up to I don't know relay or something where which would control your furnace or your AC or something else but that's all I wanted to say for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video